Okay, this poem here is called Objet Trouvé. Uh, and that is uh, rather like Marcel Duchamp's uh, uh, bicycle handlebars that are curved around. He uh, turned them upside down. Or, or was that Picasso who did that? I can't remember. Uh, that these, uh, these kind of things that are put to a different use and seen as an artistic object, uh, but they're in fact a utilitarian one. Well, there are more kinds of objets trouvé too, and uh, here in Greece we're, we're uh, pretty spoilt for them because they can go back. Uh, they can go back a couple of uh, a couple of millennia. I have one in my hand. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But here's the poem called "Objet Trouvé: Found Objects." Uh, we keep too much. Houses can equal heads for cluttered attics. Chests whose drawers are jammed with out-of-date and awkward junk. There's no such problem here. Here different things accrue. We beachcomb them or pluck them from ploughed fields in early spring. A niche in my study is their small museum, a marble pestle, loom weights on a string, a fragment with a figure of a horse, worn rice paper thin, a stamp franked by millennia, escaped, I swear, from Keats' heartbreaking urn. Who sank with that sea-crusted amphora? Or broke this sea-green glass, so sanded by the ocean, it's now a frosted pebble in my palm. Well, here's one of the things I found just behind a house there, just where I'm pointing to up there on the hill. I was up there walking and I keep an eye on the ground. It can be slightly obsessive doing this. I do it less now. And uh, I saw uh, two, 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 ox uh, two objects, These, which is this one, one, the other was a hand axe and it was broken. This is a, is a hand axe of a kind. I'll tell you what kind it is briefly. Uh, I. Uh, I could see from its shape that it had been worked on. It's got a little teeth, it's got little teeth, maybe you can see them. It's got a little teeth there, and uh, I, I got to know the uh, chief, chief archaeologist uh, for Paros and Naxos. And uh, she, uh, she looked at this and said, no. It's not a hand axe for actually hitting things or making things. It, it is a kind of a hand axe for grinding, for grinding food. It's a tool for grinding food. So what did she do? Uh, Greeks have a very good method for this. Very, very good. Uh, it's taken to the museum. There's a local museum. It's photographed. It's catalogued. And it's given back to the person who found it for safekeeping. Now in other societies, of course, you'd, you'd have to give it up. But it's been on my desk for decades now. And uh, so I'll say bye-bye while waving it. Okay, best for now.